Character on Track presents Champions on Track, connecting local champions of character to the classroom. Courage. Today's topic is courage. It takes courage to have character. Today's program is being sponsored by Now, let's meet some of our champions. Hey guys, it's Peyton. Um, I'm a senior here. I am involved in athletics, student council, the one at play choir. Um, I plan to go to SDSU next year and major in human biology. I remember back in kindergarten when I got those chicks, those baby chicks, those are probably my favorite memories. And second grade when we did the space theme, that was by far my favorite. And another thing was the play back in third grade. And I really hope all you guys get to enjoy that. Hi guys, Evan Bly here. Um, I'm involved in many sports here at Garrettson High School. Um, I was involved in sports back when I was your age and some of the other activities I'm in. I'm in student council, FFA, um, 4-H in the community. Um, I plan on going to Watertown next year to Lake Area Tech. Um, one of my favorite memories back when I was your age was out at recess, of course. I always liked playing football with the guys. Hey guys, it's Matea. I'm a senior here at Garrison High School and I'm involved in many activities from basketball and volleyball to band and choir to one act play and then our community uh, church group. I plan on going to USD to major in business and we'll see where that takes me. And my favorite memory is probably also recess when you would play four square and it would get extremely competitive but you always ended up having a good time. Character on Track. What is courage? Courage is doing the right thing, even if it's difficult. It's facing your fears with confidence, being brave. What does courage look like? It's doing the right thing, even if others are not. Bravely dealing with daily challenges. Courage is being willing to try new things, even if you might fail. Courage is telling the truth, even if there are consequences. It's facing fears and working to overcome them, admitting your mistakes and learning from them, and courage is not giving in to negative peer pressure. Who has courage? Certainly teachers and school officials, firefighters, law enforcement, Rosa Parks, Susan B. Anthony, Martin Luther King, people in the military, and even kids with character. Where do I find courage? Believe it or not, it's inside you right now. Being brave is in there. But courage may not always feel like courage. From the outside, it may look powerful and thrilling. Sometimes, from the inside, it can be scary and unpredictable. Courage and fear are always together. If you don't have fear, you don't need courage. Courage is something inside us that makes us push through fear and doubt. It helps us to do the things that seem a little risky. Sometimes it only lasts for a few seconds, but it's long enough to be brave. Something else to know about courage. It takes courage to have character. Sometimes you don't see the results right away. Making a difference may take a little time, but if you had courage to do it, you will see a result. Our champions of character show character and courage every day. So let's hear from them right now. Hey guys, it's Peyton. Um, as you can see in the video, you might be wondering, what is courage? So courage to me is facing your fears with confidence, doing the right thing, whether you might get criticized for it, but doing the right thing is the best thing. Um, I know it might be scared facing your fears and don't know what to expect, don't know what's going to happen, but with courage, you can face those fears and overcome them and to be the best you can be and do the right thing. Um, I know it might be scary, but you can do it. You got this. Um, you need to do what is right. 
whether that is losing your friends in the process or losing some respect from other people, but do the right thing and believe, fight for what you believe in, fight for what is right. You need to stand up to those bullies and do the right thing and be the better person. Doing that will lead you to being a good character and gaining that courage to do the right things. Hey guys, Evan here. Um, so what does courage look like? To me, courage looks like maybe trying new things. If you aren't a person that's involved in many things, whether it's a sport or different activities in the community, which I understand that, especially at your, your young age, um, being brave and trying those new things, even if you don't think you'll be very good at them or if it's not the popular thing to do, um, in your heart, you might really want to try something out, but your friends might not want to. Um, having courage and being brave um, is uh, that person that's going to step up and say, yeah, I'm going to try this out um, just so you don't miss out on an opportunity. And another thing is, is, you know, when you're trying those things out, a, a big thing is, you know, you don't want to fail. You don't want to um, be that person to not do very good at something, but that's okay. That, that's how you learn sometimes. Um, and you, you move on with life. So, you know, another thing is, is telling the truth. Um, even, even if you might get in trouble, it's always important to tell the truth that that really builds a person's character up and, uh, showing, showing respect showing respect and gaining that respect by telling the truth is a big thing. Um, like I said, you might, you might get in trouble or somebody else might get in trouble, but people are going to look as you look at you, not, not because you maybe screwed up because, um, you did something wrong, but maybe in a different perspective of he did the right thing and telling and admitting that he, he screwed up. So telling the truth is another big thing. Next, where do you find courage? To me, you find courage within yourself. You may not realize it in the moment, but when you're making decisions, you look inside yourself and you know what is right, what the decision would be that is morally correct. The phrase trust your gut is a really big one because it's so true. You, we are born with these human instincts and you know the difference between right and wrong. So it may seem scary, but it'll definitely benefit you in the long run. You, as Peyton said earlier, you may end up facing some minor consequences, but overall you will build your character up and you will become a stronger person with just a strong sense of character. Okay. Wow. Hey. Okay. Hey guys, Peyton again. So why do you need courage? So like Evan said, telling the truth takes courage. And I know telling the truth can be scary at some points, but telling the truth is the right thing to do. It builds your character. It's, that's why you need courage in order to tell the truth. And when you face your fears, you need courage. Trying new things, trying to go above and beyond and do new things takes a lot of courage. And, but like Matea said, courage is within you. When you have that courage inside you, you can face those fears. You can stop the bullies. You can tell the truth and do the right thing. So you need courage in order to face those things and just be a better character. All right, so Evan here again. So when you guys are watching this video right now, you might be wondering not only what is cur courage or character, but maybe you have it right now. So you're wondering, you know, I might have this right now. So. A big thing is, is have you ever been faced with challenges? And like I mentioned before in my examples, um, have you ever been stuck in a tough decision? You know, do I do the, do the wrong thing? Maybe it's with your friends or do I step up and be the better person and do the right thing? So if you've ever been in a situation like that before, um, that takes courage to step up and be the better person and do the right thing. And, you know, maybe if a, a friend is, saying, you know, come on, let's do this. You know, it's, it takes that better person to say, no, we better not. So if you're sitting there right now, maybe confused a little bit on, you know, maybe I have courage now or what is courage? That, that's a good example um, of, that I can give you of what courage is. Hey, who needs courage? Honestly, everybody needs courage. In your day-to-day -day Day to day life, you are faced with many situations where you need to look within yourself and find that courage. 
when I think of people who have courage, I think of people I see every day, people I talk to every day. I think of, for example, my coaches and my teammates. When we're playing in a big game and it's getting stressful and it's not exactly going our way and we have to make the tough calls, we have to have courage and find what will work best. And we might need to take some risks, but in the end, it could totally pay off. You need to have those, have courage and just be strong. Character on Track. At Character on Track, we believe every student and adult has the ability to have and show good character. We have five marks of character we focus on. Trustworthiness, respect, accountability, citizenship, and kindness. These are parts of your character, but do you know what it takes to have good character? It takes courage to have character. We all want a school where we feel safe, where we can ask questions and talk about our feelings. We all want a school where you get to be you. To do that, you have to stand up for what is right, be open to new ideas, and be ready to listen to others' point of view, even if you might not agree. Do you know what it takes to make your school be like this? It takes kids with good character and kids who are brave to do the right thing. It takes courage to have character. Inside each one of us is a leader. Maybe you're not the leader right now, but your time will come soon. Being a leader takes character and it takes courage. Our character will help us decide what's right and what's wrong, and that helps us make good decisions. Do you have good character? Are you trustworthy? Do you show respect all the time? Are you accountable because people can count on you? Are you a good citizen who wants to work toward making your school and your community a better place? And are you kind to other people? If you are, then you are a kid of character. And that's a great thing, but that's not all. Do you have the courage to have good character? Let's go back to our champions of character for more on courage, character, and leadership. Hey guys, we just got done watching the video about the five things of character, and that equals track. So the first one I want to talk to you about is trustworthiness. So what does it mean that people have trust in you? So when I think of trust, I, that means to me keeping your promises, being someone people can rely on, having the courage to do the right thing, and being honest. I know what it, it's a lot to do the right thing, but people, in order to be a good character, people need to trust you. They need to be able to come to you with anything. I know for me, I talk to people that I trust where I can help them and they can help me. And in order for that, we need to have a trusting relationship. And I think that's good with anyone here, especially with my friends here too. We all built trust over these years and you can start doing that today. Yeah. All right, so the next letter in the word track is R. So the R stands for respect. It's important to show respect to others. Um, it works both ways. If, if I'm gonna show respect to you, you should show respect back to me. And that's a good way to build up your character. And, and another big thing is just treating, treating each other right. If, you know, just like the golden rule, treat each other, um, treat one another like you wanna be treated. Um, and accepting other people, even if, even if they might be different, a new kid to school, be, be accepting and show respect to them that you care about them and they're in a safe place to be in. And, and they can turn to anybody if they need something. And the last thing here is listen to people. A lot of times, you know, you're walking around school um, and talking to everybody, it's important to listen. Show, that, show them that you care, show them that respect that you're engaged to what they're saying um, so they overall feel, feel like a better person. Next up is being accountable, the A of track. So being accountable is kind of a big word, but we're going to focus on the word count. You want people to be able to count on you and you to be able to count on them. And that comes down to being responsible. When you are faced with a dilemma and you might make a mistake, you want to be able to own up to that. Take accountability for that 
and be responsible for what has happened. And being accountable is also being a shoulder to cry on if your friends need you, being there for someone when being there for someone when they need you and being able to have someone rely on you and always being accountable and making sure that others can count on you as a person. Okay, hi, next up is C and C stands for citizenship. So what does it take to be a good citizen? So one thing I like to think about is how can I make this world a better place? How can I give back to my school? How can I give back to my community? That's just being a good person, saying please and thank you, like Evan said, or being a trustworthy person, or being accountable to your friends. Just being able to give back to the community and be that good person that everyone can go to. Another thing that takes to be a good citizen is volunteer. Whenever you're given the opportunity to take part in something, to give back to the people that helped you along the way, that is a great time to do it. So volunteer when you can. And like Evan said, be a good person, be a good neighbor, follow the golden rule, treat people how you would like to be treated. And that is how you can become a good citizen, whether it's in school or in your community. Hey guys, Evan here again. So the final letter in the word track is K. And K stands for kindness. And what kindness means to me is showing manners to one another to make them feel better, to make them show that you care. And that ties into the word I said earlier of respect. Um, kindness and respect kind of go hand in hand. Um, when you're being kind, you're showing respect to one another. Just that, that simple please and thank you. Thanks for holding the door for me. Things like that. that that's, showing, that's showing respect to one another and being kind. And another thing about being kind is, is bringing the best out in one another, showing them that, showing them that you care enough to, to help them along the way so that they can be the best person. So, so kindness, um, like I said, just the best thing that you can think of when, when thinking of the word or hearing the word kindness is just those manners and um, showing respect to one another um, so that, so that uh, they see that you care. Okay, I'm just going to wrap everything back up to what we just talked about the five elements of becoming a person with good character. Now, overall, it all just comes down to trying your best and giving everything your full effort and doing what you can to just make this world a better place. Treat everyone the way you want to be treated. Just try your best. Character on Track. It takes courage to have character. Today we talked about character and courage. We found out what courage is, and we also found out what it takes to have good character. Now what can you do? Well, first of all, look for opportunities to use your character every day. Maybe you remember a time in your past when you didn't stand up for what was right. Hey, we all make mistakes, but your courage gives you the power to do the right thing right now. How about your circle of friends? Do these people have the kind of character you'd like to see in yourself? Or maybe you've got some role models, like the champions of character from your school, and you can admire and learn from what they do. Put your character into action. Good character is built on what you do. It takes courage to have character. And the more you use your courage and your character, the stronger it will become. Now it's up to you. Do you have what it takes? Let's hear from our champions one more time. All right, we covered a lot today, but the one thing I want you to take away from this is it does take courage to have good character. But just remember, if you wanna have good character, you need to treat everyone like you would like to be treated. Keep that in mind and you will definitely be a character on track. Like Peyton said, we covered a lot of things today, but I just wanna leave you with one thing that to show good character, it takes Courage, and that means having, showing respect to one another, um, so caring for one another, so that they can turn to you someday if they need something. And even in the classroom, I know, you know, you, at a young age, everybody needs something here and there. So just show them that you care. And to build up that good character, build up that relationship with your teachers and coaches, so that someday you can be sitting in our seats here with the characters on track. 
I would like to leave you with the thought that yes, it may be scary in the moment, but oh, over time, in the long run, you will become a better person and those hard decisions of having courage are going to pay off. You are going to become a champion of character. Bingo! Well, thank you guys for watching. And remember to have good character. And always remember, it, it takes, takes courage, courage to, to have character. character. We'd like to express our sincere appreciation to all of our champions of character who helped us with this project. Also, our champions and all of us at Character on Track would like you to remember your character not only tells us who you are, but who you are going to become.